hi guys welcome back to the channel welcome to a brand new video i am your girl the living dolly chanel thank you so much for clicking on this video if you are new never seen me before what's up please subscribe like and share let me know what it is you think give me any video suggestions if it is you want to i just love hearing from you all and chatting in the comments if you are a returning subscriber what's up babe thank you so much for stopping by Thank you so much for continuing to support your girl. I am deeply, deeply, deeply grateful. Happy Sunday, everybody. This vlog is mainly, as the title says, like a random daily vlog. I ran a poll on my Instagram at The Living Dolly and I asked you all, what do you all want to see um, out of the four choices? And the number one was a daily vlog. So I think I'll be giving the weekly vlogs a little bit of a break just because like i don't know if but let me know if it is you feel the same way that i do so i'll know you know if to continue or not but sometimes i just like to kind of break out of the ordinary like i did last weekend with my week weekend vlog so that's why it is i just want to switch it up so sometimes i'll be doing daily vlogs randomly out of nowhere you know that kind of thing like just to keep you all on your toes just to keep it a little different a little spicy and not just like the boring same thing all the time but yeah if it is you um enjoy this hair and enjoy this look y'all like i said in my last vlog my weekend vlog last week the combination of juvia's place i am magic foundation and my black opal loose setting powder is giving flawless it's giving skin it's giving amazing so mm, love this and i did show you all a little bit of my look well, last weekend, I don't think I filmed that much in detail with my look today. I just did something pretty simple because I just got back from church. So yeah, and I also showed y'all how I installed this hair. Special shout out to that lovely Amazon company by the name of Shamo Wigs that decided to send me this wig. I'll show you all the install and everything. It gives very much natural, like if my hair was relaxed and I, you know, just decided to throw some rods in it, yeah it just gives me that kind of vibe anyway here i am rambling <laughs> i hope you all enjoy the video please do not forget to let me know what you think press that like button leave me a comment share and subscribe bye guys okay guys so we're starting off this saturday morning with some breakfast some turkey bacon and eggs that mommy and i whipped up of course with some toast bread because i love toasted bread this is what it's looking like i was pretty proud of myself because it was either between this or cereal so i went with this Ooh. then we jetted the sauce is lit right sauce now. Lots because of cars was outside, actually cars traveling inside. Damn. on the next day so okay. we had to collect some packages actually we all did but we had to get some stuff at Pennywise as well. Not much, but just a couple of items for her. So here's me and mommy. We are the ones always doing the errands. And then after the place was so ridiculously hot that we needed to get a refreshing drink. So we stopped in to Trinity Mall at this place called Just Juice and got us a good drink. I had Gova, she had passion fruit, and then we headed back home. Okay, guys. So a company by the name of Shamo Wigs reached out to me, an Amazon company, and sent me a really beautiful Brazilian, I believe, body wave wig, all right, that I'm going to install today. I was really happy because they sent a full package wig cups that are closest to my complexion I love, and they sent these, not just the regular wig cups some lashes uh, yeah <laughs> and this the edge brush this is really good and I'm going to probably install this later today I'm gonna do like a TikTok video and I will show you all a bit of the installation as well this is my package I got from Shein I do have some items that I may do a haul in so if you want to see let me know and then I have this got to be glue that I'm going to use to install the wig so I already have some of the got to be spray so I just wanted to make sure it really stays down because I may just rock that wig for the entire week so we're back out on the road again I actually had a couple deliveries from my thrift store and I was trying to locate a customer's 
residence so me and mommy were back out but that wasn't our only reason why it is we had to come out in this terrible weather i don't know what the weather was like for you all on saturday but it was really really ridiculous and we kind of had to drive through some flood but no matter what happens we still gotta drop naya off to lessons she's in form five as you all may know and you know it's important that she gets her studies in she's practically in lessons almost every day except friday so yeah we dropped her off a little bit in the rainy weather but you know she's there made it safe and sound <laughs> and now i am back home going to install the unit i was really excited because i like to challenge myself a little bit when it comes to these units so i myself had to watch a little youtube video you know a little refresher course because i'm doing it straight from scratch yes my hair looks a hot mess right now but very soon we'll be back to looking good so i start off by putting on my wig cap this method is called the ball cap method it literally makes you look like you're bald so it gives you a very scalp like finish which i was very happy about it it really did came out good like i was like impressed with myself that's the best i could say because i have not like installed a wig from scratch on myself in a long while but yeah it really did come out good then i put on my foundation just to blend it in this foundation will actually get a little bit darker and i also put some foundation on my wig cap as well i'm just trying it on to see how it lays down and fits and everything i was really impressed because look at that because of the ball cap method the stocking really does give the illusion of scalp which i loved and the pattern space on this wig is lit like it's a 13 by 4 brazilian lace front wig but i'll be honest with you i didn't expect so much clean pattern space and it comes pre-plucked so this is me applying the adhesive the wig glue that i just purchased from pennywise and now i'm blow drying it to make sure that it you know gets tacky enough for me to apply to my head and it sticks to my forehead i was you know kind of getting a little bit tired around here but you know what i'm just like listen i want it to come out really flawless and i want the company to be you know impressed and you know happy that they chose me this is probably the trickiest part which is to cut off the lace because you have to get so close to your skin with this sharp razor but i took my time and i got through i would pretty much say i did a really good job as you could see how clean the scalp is looking and i set it with some rods because i wanted to give it a nice bouncy pretty look so let's go to bed hey guys what's up happy sunday so i am getting ready for church <sighs> but before i get ready i i feel like if i have to chat with you all a little bit for those of you who are following me on my social media platforms like instagram especially because there is where i actually like chat with you all the most i must be good to say your girl is in a little bit of a rut right now let me explain so by the way like the install came out so clean and neat i i love practicing on new um units because at some point in the near future i feel like if i want to do a course to be like full-on certified because I do like, you know, small stuff for like friends, family, you know, makeup and hair and stuff like that. But I feel like I want to do a full on course, you know, so I could be certified in it. Even though a lot of people are like self-taught like myself, you know, and have learned from YouTube and stuff. But yeah, that's a plan of mine. Anyway, so like I was saying, I feel like if I want to do... Sorry, jeez, my thoughts are like all over the place. I feel like if I'm in a little bit of a rut, where's my eyebrow pencil? Just, yeah. When I say in a rut, every time I travel and I come back, I go through a slight period of adjustment, if you will. It's just basically me. Uh, I don't, let me see if I can put this in the right way because you know people are always in their feelings even though you are trying to be honest but the way that I feel is if like sometimes I feel like if Trinidad cycles me a bit um 
and you all know i'm not one that goes out plenty i used to be that person as i've mentioned previously but i don't really go nowhere now except for like special occasions family friends that kind of thing and friends not so much you know because hello i'm a mother i have goals working on some stuff so my attention is elsewhere not just going out going out going out right but getting the chance to go out a lot after i have you know like saved and worked so hard for it which is why it is i like to travel because i feel like if right through the year i work really hard you know creating content my regular job my businesses momminess like the whole nine so like coming back home to Trinidad is a kind of a an adjustment so yeah so that's why it is i have not done like any styling videos and that kind of thing yet like i want to and i probably will do something like today seeing especially that you know we got fresh hair new you know makeup and stuff like that i'm in a little bit more of a mood but yeah that's usually my my stance every time i travel and then i come back i go through a little period of adjustment so that's what's going on with me that's why it is i have not done like much speaking on my instagram stories you know because i'm just like uh but i still don't want to you know just leave my people like high and dry so what i would do is i would you know still post my inspirational stuff funny stuff even some of my content from like tiktok that kind of vibe which i love but yeah that has been my mindset but i am coming out of my shell and i think i'm going to do some styling content today also youtube as well has me like just feeling kind of wary at this point um and i was talking to another content creator about it uh, i just find like youtube it's it's a lot and I don't know like I don't have to work as hard on other platforms that's how it is I feel when you want to be sex success yeah. <laughs> what the hell when you want to be successful you have to work hard right you have to do certain things and all that kind of thing that's great and I have no problem doing that however I find like when it is I'm reaching to a point of I find like if I'm working too hard that's not good so I, I came from like doing probably let's say three TikTok videos a day that I would use as you know content on my Instagram as well you know to post those reels like I was just doing a lot so I kind of feel uh, a little bit burnt out and exhausted so all of that compiled together has me like mm, you know but these are things that I love. So I know it's just like a little period and I do believe in taking breaks because before I would have never taken a break. I would have been like, no, you have to do this. You have goals, da da da, whatever. But yeah, my goals are not gonna kill me, okay? So I am going to take it within stride. I don't feel like it. Oh, I was not feeling like it. I did nothing. I took my time to rest and you know, take a break, get back to me, get my mind right. Yeah, and now I could function but yeah basically that's what's going on to me but i will come back shortly and show you all what the hair is looking like me and my crazy set <laughs> but i had to do it like that because i had to make sure that everything was in a gear so yeah let me just do my makeup really quickly because i'm heading off to church just now and i want to be ready on time see you all in a bit so let us take out these rolls see what it's looking like i find with body wave here uh, if you don't put like rods in it or if you have a curling iron i have one but i'm not really sure how to use it oh lord hope that works yeah it, it like it doesn't work as well and i don't particularly like straight here unless it's long but yeah let's see what it looks like Uh, 
that is a little bit longer than I wanted. Damn. Overall, it did take curl really well. And it does look bouncy, so I'm good with that. What I'm gonna do is probably tuck it behind my ear. The hair is really, really soft. Ooh, yeah. I love the bounce. I don't like, I'm not a huge fan of straight hair, so I prefer a little bit of bounce. That's why you hardly ever see me wearing straight hair. But I am pleased though. It looks a whole lot better when there's a little bit of bounce and it looks cool. I don't like it just plain straight or the do not for cool pattern. Alright, so we're all done and we're off to church. Okay guys, so I am back home from church. It's super hot right now in my room. I'm thinking what do I do to showcase this hair? I may have to do because the weather is really sucky. So I think I may have to do like a video probably on my couch, you know, just showcasing the hair. It really is pretty here. I got so many compliments today. I was like, wow, like as i told you before i'm not like a straight hair lover or like uh what's it called again a body wave lover i mainly like curly hair so that's why i always want like a nice curly bounce but i really did my thing with that install like it looks really natural it looks really flawless it looks like it's coming from my scalp can't go wrong with that right so i'm really excited to kind of play with it a little bit but yeah it was a vibe I didn't show you all my outfit for church, did I? Yeah, let me show you. I was wearing a jacket, by the way. All right, so I just put it out there, but in here it's very hot, so ain't nobody put on a jacket. So let me just push it back. So it's this really pretty uh, wide leg jumpsuit that I'm wearing with my white boots. You all can see. Can't really see the boots so much, but yeah, it's really, really nice. I bought this like years ago from Fashion Nova, but you know what, like the whole pandemic thing, like um, dressing up to go to church was, you know, a thing years ago, but I just kind of slowed down on like, like buying like church clothes per se. So I practically sold a lot of my church clothes, but I like the, um, the vibe of modern day dressing for church not inappropriate or anything like that but just you know everything doesn't have to be long to your ankles or everything doesn't have to be like long straight down to your wrist you can still have style i'll never forget that we went to florida in 20 hmm, can't remember exactly i believe it was 2017 yeah we went to my mom's friend's church and Florida, especially in the summertime, down to the pasta was in our jeans. They had on like their little tops, as well as like, you know, a jacket, cause inside the air condition is really cool. So, you know, they'll have on like a jacket or like a throwover, something like that. It was like real chill, cool, relaxed dressing. I find only in Caribbean churches, um, or especially Trinidadian to be exact, everybody feels that you have to have on like the longest dress to be closest to God that's not it you could have on the longest dress and your heart is black as hell just saying so you know i'm not trying to come down on come calm down on anybody who you know dresses that way you do what you need to do if you feel that dressing that way is the best for you do your thing but i like that vibe of dressing like modern and respectful so even though i had on like this long jumpsuit i still had my jacket over it and everything even though the air condition was not that cool if you ask me but just for the sake of respect and I felt cute and I was there praising the Lord doing my thing just saying but yeah <laughs> so now I have to um <sighs> I have to think of what I'm going to do to showcase this here the weather is really sucky these days I know we're in the rainy seasons and you all know I am a natural light kind of girl but I have to submit this hair content today for the Amazon company so yeah guys that's gonna be me for the day stay tuned i think i'm going to do a story time later down this week probably like i'm thinking wednesday yeah story time 
and probably one other video for the week i'm just doing it as they come to me i'm not stressing myself you know i always ask you all to follow me on instagram so that you will be able to keep up to date with me if i don't upload or anything like that you will know why in my instagram stories or even in my tiktok as well so yeah that's what i'm about to do so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoy this little random daily vlog and my little chit chats and rants and you know my hair installation and everything like that thank you so much everyone for just for showing me love because we're currently at 1.9k subscribers and i can't tell you how much that means to me